Hey, joining us now on the Mar Army Rock Show. It's good to have our friend Scotty Dunbar calling from Boston. Uh, he is a solo artist, and he's also the D in DMK. Scotty, welcome to the show. Hey, what's going on? Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. And thanks for all your support. You guys are awesome. Hey, man, any time. So uh, let's jump right into things. Tell us about the new single you just released now. Well, yes, uh, it's a 20th Century Boy. Um, it's a cover of a old Mark Bolin T-Rex song. But basically what I did was I, I had gone into the studio. I recorded about five new solo tracks, one of them being a cover, the other four being original. Um, and I just chose to go with the cover first as, it you know, it was fun. And uh, my solo band, we've been playing it out live for about a year and a half now. So... Um, as far as recording that one in the studio, we just had a really good time, and you know it was it was fun. It was a good atmosphere, great you know good time all around. So I chose to go with that one first, and then I will be releasing you know the other four over the next you know several months. You know when it doesn't interfere with the stuff uh, with DMK, so. Yeah, so uh, we'll talk about the DMK stuff in just a minute, uh, but I did notice uh, with your solo act, it looks like you have some kind of a, um, uh, like a charity gig coming up on February 28th, a uh, support for a young girl named Emma. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Okay, yes, uh, my solo band, we're going to be doing a one-off uh, show on February 28th in Worcester, Mass. Um, it's called Rockin' for Emma. And uh, she's a beautiful six-year-old girl. She's battling cancer for the second time. So we'll be performing at that event. Um, and I might be doing a few solo shows here and there. I'm not too sure yet um, because it all depends on the whole schedule with uh, DMK because we go into the studio the second week of February. Uh, we start recording and we, you know, going to get everything out in time for our first show, which is April 2nd at the Whiskey A Go Go in West Hollywood, California. So that's where we're going to start things off. So yeah, man, so lots to talk about there. So uh, just real quickly, um, let's go ahead. That's a good segue. Let's move into that. So I want to ask you about the studio, but uh, go ahead and talk a little bit about the. Uh, I guess it's a full tour. So you just mentioned it starts April second, and uh, you got you're playing with some pretty cool people at that show at the Whiskey Go Go. I think. Yeah, we're playing out uh, with uh, Michael Sweet of Striper and you know Mike Tramp of White Lion. So that'll be the first show. Uh, we're booking everything now, um, you know, as far as, like, the East Coast stuff goes. Um, you know, a few, like, Midwest dates and stuff like that. So uh, basically, we're just going to go out and be have our A game on. So... And it's a we'll good have, place to start, man. Getting getting started to open with acts like that, man, that's a pretty good launch to uh, DMK, I would say. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. You know, I've, I've played the whiskey before solo, but I'm really looking forward to playing it with the band and kicking things off there. You know, we, uh, we released that Christmas single, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, um, it was definitely different. It was, you know, a kind of like a bluesy take on that song. But uh, the stuff that's coming out, you know, is straight ahead hard rock, you know. And um, I hope people will like it. Yeah, now I've had uh, Teddy Merrill from DMK, uh, the M in DMK on the show, so I've got yeah, two shirts on the show now. And uh, so tell us a little bit about, you know, from your perspective about the forming of this band and what it meant and how it came together. Well, basically with Ted, um, with his former band, like Mark 22, um, my solo band, we were doing a show in Boston, and Mark was on the bill. And then the following weekend, I was playing in Baltimore uh, at the House of Rock, and um, Mark was on that bill, too. And Ted and I just totally hit it off. Um, and what happened was, when I started, I did a East Coast tour with my solo band, opening for Eric Martin and Mr. Big. And I wanted to bring in a second guitar player. 
uh, with my yeah. bands. And so, you know, Ted was, you know, my first choice. I reached out to Ted about it. You know, he agreed on it on the spot. And um, him and I just, we had the best time on that tour. We we began, we were like brothers. So it was just, you know, and something was definitely, we are definitely going to start up, you know, a project, um, a band, whatever you want to call it. Um, once Ted had a really busy schedule this past summer, you know, with him touring with, you know, playing guitar for Charm City Devils and stuff. So once the schedules calmed down, you know, the guys came up to Boston and, uh, you know, we recorded that uh, Christmas single. And it was fun. Uh, we had, it was great atmosphere, but like I said, it was a, it was a different take on a song because most of the versions you hear of that tune are very happy, but if you look at the lyrics, they're really not that happy. Yeah, they so, really aren't. <laughs> so we just, you know, Ted came up with like a, you know, kind of like a bluesy version, which, you know, was different for me. Um, it was different for Brian, yeah, but we had fun doing it, but the stuff that will be coming out, um, that's already written is, you know, it's just full on rock. So got a couple ballads and, you know, some really, you know, you know, good rock and roll stuff. So the secret of balance, I want to ask you about, uh, I want to ask you about one of your solo tunes that I was kind of drawn to. Tell me a little bit about Tears in the City. Tell me about that song. Well, Tears in the City, that's actually a, a song that was written by uh, Jerry Dixon of Warren. And, um, I was signed to their label Down Boys. And, uh, basically with that single, it was something that was completely different, but, you know, my whole outlook with music is, you know, I love all kinds of music. Of course, I like hear bands is what I'm drawn to. That's what I was brought up on. But um, I can go from, like, listening to Queen to, like, Pantera, you know, in two seconds. So <laughs> it's just, uh, like, my musical tastes are all over the map. So with Tears in the City, I just wanted to do something that I never did before. So I did a duet. Um, with this very talented, beautiful girl. Her name's AMJ. And I mean, it was just, it was something totally different. I didn't know whether people were going to like it or be like, what are you doing, dude? But, um, it was, it was, it was fun to do because I was able to get that out of my system, you know, and just show a different style where it wasn't, you know, straight ahead rock and roll, you know. So, um, man, I, I, we, we just saw you reason. By the way, uh, it's a really cool tune. I, I really like it. You did a great job on it. So, and I'm right there with you, man. I, I, our musical tastes are all over the place. So, uh, yeah, no apologies there. Now, you, um, you know, you can do a lot of live music yourself. I mean, we most recently saw you up at that, uh, uh, that gig up in New York City that you were there watching. Uh, and I saw you, you really seem to be excited about the extreme show you just went to. Yeah, dude, for me, it's, well, go back to that show where I saw you at, uh, with Santa Cruz. That was just amazing. Like, I haven't been to a show like that in so long. And that's all I do is go to shows because that's why rock and roll is my life, you know. It's like I love to be in a concert setting. You know, if I'm not in a concert setting, I'm watching a show, it's writing music, it's listening to albums, you know, that's my life. Rock and roll is, you know, it's what is in my blood. It's a hundred percent of me. So seeing a band like Santa Cruz that I was a fan of anyways, the energy that was in that room was just unbelievable. And I haven't seen a band with so much energy or crowd like that in a small club in over a decade. That was just unbelievable. It sure was. And, and as far as extreme goes, I mean, those are, you know, my Boston peeps. So the hometown <laughs> band, and they've just been rocking it, you know. And, to, you know, Point of Graffiti is one of my favorite albums of all time. And, you know, to hear that from start to finish, and they're just, I mean, 
just, they're just amazing. So, and they're just such an incredible live band. It's like, so I just, I saw them last night in Maine and then the night before in Connecticut, but last night was just absolutely incredible. Well, uh, Scotty, man, we enjoy, first of all, seeing you, you know, when you're in the crowd at shows. We definitely, uh, we look forward to seeing, uh, DMK for the first time. Uh, I know you said there'll be some East Coast dates, and we're going to be keeping our eye out for that. Any idea, um, a ballpark on the release for some DMK stuff that we can hear? Yeah, as far as the DMK stuff, um, you know, we stopped recording the second week of February, so, um, we'll finish all that stuff up within, you know, a two-week period, and then it'll be off to get, uh, you know, manufactured, and, you know, we will be putting it out, like, on CD, um, and obviously all the digital stuff. So um, you'll see that, like, towards the end of March, you know, released before, you know, the first show at the Whiskey. And then, um, you know, we're working on dates now, for the East Coast um, and stuff like that. So we'll definitely be out, you know, in like May uh, through the summer doing shows. And I just can't wait to, uh, you know, be out playing live with Ted and Brian because that's the thing with those two guys. It's like we're such good friends and we just have so much fun just hanging out. So... Well, you got three great live musicians there. Uh, Scotty Dunbar uh, from Boston, Mass. I want to thank you for being here on the show, Scotty. Great solo artist and also uh, a member of the D in DMK. And, uh, Scotty, thanks so much for being here. We look forward to the DMK stuff coming out, and I uh, hope people catch your solo act on the road, too. All right. Thank you so much, and thanks for your time. I really appreciate it. And, um, you know, thank you guys for your support. Um, you just rock. So, and it's always and good to see you at shows, too. So, but thank you so much. I really, really appreciate your support with the DMK stuff and the solo stuff. You rock. Scotty Dunbar, everybody. Scotty, thanks, man. Thank you, brother.